Embarking on the journey to conceive is fraught with a minefield of emotions. As much as it can feel all consuming, most women don't want the world to know, which can make social events very tricky. On one hand, you want to stick with your dietary goals, but on the other, you don't want to discuss your personal details with those outside your innermost circle. So in this episode of Nourish, we'll explore how to navigate social events when trying to conceive. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a dietitian who specializes in nutrition throughout the first thousand days of life, from conception to toddlerhood, where it sets the foundations for the future health of your baby. I'd love you to download my free fertility meal plan from melaniemcgrice.com slash fertility. Now, social events often revolve around food, making it challenging for women trying to conceive to navigate dietary preferences without drawing attention or feeling pressured. Questions about pregnancy or fertility can also add stress to these situations. Additionally, social norms around indulgent or unhealthy foods may conflict with your desire to prioritize your health in this important season. So in this episode of Nourish, I'm gonna share four of my favorite tips that I often share with women trying to conceive. Number one is to make decisions beforehand. Do as much research as you can about the food that will be served at the event before you arrive. If you're going to a restaurant, download the menu before you go so that you can decide what you're going to order in advance. If it's an event at someone's house or catered where there's no menu, consider contacting the host or catering company with some dietary requirements beforehand. And number two is BYO. If possible, prepare nutrient rich dishes or snacks to bring along. Offering to contribute a healthy dish to the gathering ensures that you'll have nutritious options to enjoy while socializing. Fresh fruits, vegetable platters with healthy homemade dips, Whole grain salads and lean protein options are excellent choices that align with fertility friendly dietary recommendations. Bringing your own food also allows you to control portion sizes and make mindful choices that support your fertility goals. Number three is to just say thanks. If your current dietary habits are noticeably different to your norm and you're not yet ready to speak about your fertility journey, instead of making a big deal about what you can and can't eat, just accept what you're offered and then discreetly forget plates of food or drinks in another room. This strategy tends to work best at parties where you're mingling rather than a sit down meal. And finally, number four is to plan your responses. Once again, before you attend the event, think about what you'll say to any awkward questions. If someone asks you why you're not eating the cake, maybe you could respond that you've had another event before arriving and are over full. Or maybe you could explain that you're currently following a short-term diet for health reasons. Be polite but firm. And particularly if you mention health, most people will usually get the vibe that you're trying to give and respect your privacy. So I hope these tips help you to feel more confident for your next social event. And of course, for ideas on optimizing your fertility through the power of good food, make sure to check out some of my other videos, such as the best fruit for fertility and my top 10 fertility diet myths. I'll see you in my next video. Feel more confident for your social... Sorry. Oops.